Welcome to Ernest Hawkins Field, home of the A&M Commerce Lions, as we are set to open up the 2023 football campaign as they host UC Davis out of California. What a great matchup this is going to be. Hello, everyone. Greg Higgins here joining me in the broadcast booth, Adam Routon. And, Adam, we're going to see um, hopefully a high-powered game tonight based on what we saw from last year between these two statistically. Yeah, when you look at the, the stat sheet, of course, this UC C. Davis team comes in here, putting up a lot of yards, a lot of points. Commerce, uh, Texas A&M Commerce comes in with a new coach that looks like he's going to have a, an offensive bent with his background in arena football. It'll be exciting to see what happens once the ball is kicked off and uh, see the action on the field, Greg. Absolutely. Lions will be kicking off. We'll see the defense for the Lions first. That Aggie offense putting up almost 500 yards a game last season and uh, just a phenomenal performance offensively from them. Of course, they come in today, depending on which, which poll you look at, the FCS poll, they're ranked uh, number 17. In the stats FCS poll, they're ranked 16th. So a lot of expectation from this UC Davis team. And, of course, a and Commerce got a record streak going of their own we'll talk about here in just a second after this kickoff and we're underway for the season this ball going to be kicked through the end zone for a touchback and then give UC Davis the ball at the 25 yard line give us a chance to look at this uh, lion defense last year pretty solid defense did a pretty a great job on the field um, they're going to be tested it looks like early on this season against this 16th ranked Aggie team but we'll see in this first series how Lions respond to the challenge. You see Davis wearing all white, white helmets, white jerseys, white pants, showing a pistol formation. And here is a handoff near side. A good tackle there. Handoff going to Land Larson. Daryl Ware come up on the right side, making a big hit for the stop. Miles Hastings quarterbacking this Aggie offense in the pistol formation. He's going to roll out to his left looking, and he's just going to throw the ball away as he was under heavy pressure there by AM Commerce, Clifford Funderburk. Great catch on the sideline by one of the Lions assistants there to field that one. Just threw that away. He was just saving the sack at that point. There was no one open on that little flare uh, that they were trying to run. Bring up third down and six. Opening drive of this young season, you can say. It was a quick pass by Hastings on a slant and a nice catch and reception on that play. I believe that was Trent Tompkins. Yeah, it was a nice cut by Tompkins to make the, make the play there. Uh, you saw Mike Epps come up and get the hit, but not before the first down. It's going to be a first down. For this Aggie offense, Max Epps, excuse me, takes the ball up to the 39 yard line. So, handoff up the middle. Once again, Lars Larison with the carry up to the 41. So far, you see Davis moving this ball down the field fairly effectively. That one, one play where nothing was there, so he threw it away. Hurrying up with this offense as they're snapping the ball pretty quickly. And here's another handoff to Larrison around the right side. Tried cutting it back up and upended nicely there by the Lion defense. It looked like Leon Young was in there on the tackle. Larrison found some nice running room on the right side. The uh, line of, on that, that side opening up their running lane to give him a nice gain for second down, setting up this third and short. Let's see the Aggies taking a little bit more time off the clock on this particular play with a third down and three. Hastings rolling out, looking downfield. He's going to throw it. It's intercepted. Picked off by the Lions near midfield and trying to get away from a tackle and finally being brought down at the 45, 46 yard line. And that was the Darren Taylor, or Darion Taylor. Taylor just playing center field. There was nothing there as Hastings rolled to his right. And, uh, 
Uh, Taylor just parked, man, and the ball came right to him as he just fielded it. Uh, that was one of those balls coming at you. You go, God, I hope I don't drop this because this is an interception, and that's what you want to see uh, if you're the Lion defense is creating that turnover here in this first series. Absolutely, and you talked about that Lion defense last year and and how good they were, and there you see them coming up big, giving their offense really good field position already on Aggie side of the ball. Peter Parrish alone in the backfield for the Lions, and I believe we may have a full start. Yeah, Was yeah. It a right, the right guard flinched just a little bit before the snap, Greg, and uh, that UC Davis was uh, uh, defense was quick to point it out. I wasn't sure if it was false start or if the play clock had run out. I, I wasn't paying attention to the play clock. So first down and 15 takes them back to their side of the 50-yard line. Parrish once again alone in the backfield, sends a man in motion. He's going to pitch it up forward and getting back to the original Line of scrimmage on the play was Elder. That was a nice uh, fake there. As he, he froze the, the defense on this left side, there was no pursuit because everybody thought the quarterback still had the ball. So that created that running room on that left side. Parrish looking to the sideline to get the play. Second down and 10 for the Lions. Another handoff. Gain of just a couple. And that one went to Reggie Branch. Nick Eaton for the Aggies all over that on defense to limit that gain. So big third down for this Lions offense now. We saw the Aggies convert on one and then throw an interception on another on their opening drive. Harris back to throw for the first time. And he's going to roll, and there's going to be a penalty marker maybe in the vicinity of holding. We'll see, and Parrish gets pushed out of bounds after a gain of a couple. Aggie showed blitz on that, but they backed out with, at the snap. They sent five, but two of, the, two of the defensive backs that were up on the line went back into coverage. But they still got a pretty good rush from those five coming, enough to, to flush them out and possibly get a penalty. Referee looking to figure out how they're going to call this one. Gary Leeper, the referee tonight. They're going to replay third down, so they're going to back them up. That's a, that's a little surprising. I, I might have de declined that one, you know. It was going to be fourth down and about eight, uh, probably a punt situation, but the Aggies choose to take the call and push them back a little bit. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm a little bit confused on that one, but uh, – We'll see if uh, if the Lions can capitalize or if the Aggies made the right call here. Parrish Jr. from Phoenix City, Alabama. Back to pass. He's under pressure, and he throws it right to the defender. And, boy, he is upset with himself. He thought he, he had maybe a pick six if he could have uh, caught that. There was nobody between him. That was Justin Martz that had a chance to catch that ball. Well, that happened. Big Zach Kennedy, number 95, came unchecked out the middle. Nobody got a hand on him, and he was right in the quarterback's face there. Uh, the, he had to throw that ball away just to, as a matter of survival, Greg. Mitchell McGarry on to punt. Nice high spiraling kick, and it's going to go out of bounds, way out of bounds, so we'll see where they wind up spotting it. Officials coming up, and they're going to put it down at about the 25-yard line. So with 11.24 to play here in the first quarter, both teams have had a chance to possess the ball. We have no score. We're going to step aside. Be right back from A&M Commerce. With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always those new tiles are falling right into place until those new tiles are falling right into place until how can we target deadly diseases with better precision those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of 
what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. And uh, last but not least, the wonderful crew at McDonald's. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? Are you gonna order something? Or... Pano AI chooses T-Mobile for business for 5G solutions because T-Mobile helps Pano AI innovate so they can stop the spread of wildfires. Now's the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Enjoy your meal. Thanks, you too. Question, how do you recover from an awkward exchange? Uh, hey, don't forget to set your lineup tonight. ESPN Fantasy Football. Thank you. This is the third time A&M Commerce and UC Davis are meeting, but it's the first time since 1999 UC Davis winning both the other two meetings. So A&M trying, their Commerce trying to reverse that here tonight. Still got that other statistic we need to get to here in a little bit. Handoff near side, good tackle as the running back Larrison. Kyrie Anderson comes up from that Will Mike Will linebacker position to make a great stop. Greg, what you're telling me is uh, basically most of these young men weren't even born the last time these two teams played. I, that's pretty much <laughs> exactly okay. what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> yes. Big, big rivalry here. Hastings to throw deep down the right side, and he's got a man coming back for it and making the catch. Nice route run there by Michaelius Elder for the Aggies to get open, and uh, – Good stop there on defense as well. Yes. And actually, that was Chaz Davis for UC Davis. Okay. Here's a handoff. Larrison, big run to the right side. Gets all the way across midfield. Biggest play of the game so far for either team. It's going to go first down. And 10 from the 43-yard line. Gain of 25 yards on the play. There's another handoff this time. Different running back. This one goes to Mateo Perez. The Aggies moving the ball look down the field with a little more ease so far in the second drive of the series. Look like they're kind of getting a little comfortable with offense out there this uh Lion defense needs to step up and make a stop here. Got the big turnover in that first series. Second down and eight after that two-yard gain. In the guns, Hastings looking to throw the ball. He's got a receiver. Oh. Nice catch taken at the 26-yard line. Caught by Tompkins, Trent Tompkins, the junior. That was a pretty pass, man. That was just laid over the outstretch. Jordan Polk, number 10 for the Lions, went up for it, thought he had a play, but that ball just feathered right over the top of his fingers. That was awesome. You see the throw there just over the outstretched arms as Hastings has to hurry up and get rid of that ball as he was under a lot of pressure by that Lions defense. That was Michael Surface in there on the hit on Hastings. Sur Surface in the backfield pretty quick. Uh, Hastings didn't have much room to maneuver. Nice play there by Hast the Lion defense. Sorry to interrupt you there. Hastings, phenomenal year last year, over 3,000 yards passing, 21 touchdowns to just only six interceptions. 
There's a handoff and nice running once again. Perez, or Perez on that one. Yeah, Mateo Perez just shook off that first sh tackle attempt right at the line of scrimmage, and once he had that, he had plenty of room right in front of him. Is that line just opened it up behind uh, Peter Povey at center, number 63, uh, and getting the ball downfield for big gain on second down. Empty backfield, Hastings looking near side, and he's got a receiver, and it is incomplete. Receiver comes up thinking that he had it. Trent Tompkins pleading with the officials, but the AM Commerce sideline was right there yeah. urging the officials. There were some assistance from the, the coaches and the, the people on the sideline there. From here, it was, the, from our point of view, it was kind of blocked. It looked like it might have went down to the turf and he trapped it, but uh, we, we didn't really see it from the angle we have. Hunter Ridley on to attempt a field goal. This will be from 37 yards right down the middle, it looks like, and that is going to be good. So UC Davis gets this scoring going with three to nothing as they hit a field goal, 8.24 to play in the first quarter. Lions will have the ball when we return coming out of this break. You hear that? This cheesesteak is so freshly grilled, you can still hear it sizzling. Listen. This is like the chopping, the spatula. I can hear it too. Me too. Actually, it's the. Oh. Cheesesteak? Grill. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your Pro Extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? Go to more I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to expect. Expertise. Whether it's life-saving brain surgery, your 3D mammogram that catches breast cancer sooner, or orthopedic specialists helping you feel stronger than ever. With hundreds of doors across Houston, you can get expert care everywhere. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Enjoy your meal. Thanks, you too. Question, how do you recover from an awkward exchange? Uh, hey, don't forget to set your lineup tonight. ESPN Fantasy Football. Thank you. Last year, UC Davis averaged just under 36 points per game. They've already got this one. Our score in this one is they lead three to nothing here early over AM Commerce. Lions will get the ball for the second time. Seeing if they can match the point production by the Aggies. It's a fair catch called for at the goal line and taken there by Sean Christoph King. So the because of the touchback rules, because he did, because he did that, because he fair caught it within the 25, and he catched it, that ball will be placed at the 25, as if it was a touchback. Not quite the same field possession they started the first drive with after that interception, but another chance for this line offense to try to get out there and answer as uh, UC Davis goes 55 yards down the field, had to settle for a field goal. So the Commerce, um, the Texas A&M defense tightened up, and and kept him from getting the end zone, forced a field goal attempt, but uh, 
Aggies with the early lead here. Nice crowd here in Commerce for this opening night of the game, or opening night of football, the season. I knew what I was trying to say. There's a handoff up the middle, dancing around and bouncing around and falling forward for one yard on the play. Maybe on Hargrove with the carry. There was absolutely no running room for Hargrove as he went into the pile, but he spins around and tried to make something out of nothing and actually pulled a yard out of it uh, with his athleticism. So nice effort there. Second down and nine yards. There's a quick pass near side. A nice open field tackle as Austin Samahe could not get away. Yeah, that was good. Good coverage by the defense just to make sure that uh, he didn't get away. That uh, uh, Samai Verner making that tackle for the Aggies. So let's bring up a third down and long. Lions 0 for 1 so far on the day on third down conversions. Parrish back to pass under pressure. And he is going to be hit in the backfield and brought down. There is a flag in the area that you would think of holding. Ball came out there at the end, but uh, quarterback was down. So officials get together. Something to keep an eye on in, is here in Texas, we've had some extremely hot temperatures and is holding against the Lions, this time they're going to decline it. And that is going to cause a Mitchell McGarry punt. So let's get, there's been a lot of days in August over 100 degree temperatures. And I mean, it was 95 today with a high. The humidity is pretty, pretty high. So it'll be interesting to see how both these teams going into this game and how later on, if that's a, uh, if that's a, a, a factor at all. There's a short kick taken at the 41 yard line and going backwards, but still on his feet and able to get right back up to the 41 on the play was Mateo Perez. So that'll be the third possession coming up for UC Davis. They have a three nothing lead. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back from Commerce. Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to expect. Expertise. Whether it's life-saving brain surgery, your 3D mammogram that catches breast cancer sooner, or orthopedic specialists helping you feel stronger than ever. With hundreds of doors across Houston, you can get expert care everywhere. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Pano AI chooses T-Mobile for business for 5G solutions because T-Mobile helps Pano AI innovate so they can stop the spread of wildfires. Now's the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to load up on more toys, to stop looking for fun and be the one who brings it and to make every day even more inviting than the last. Make this the summer you drive America's best light duty pickup. During the Ram Labor Day sales event, get 4,000 retail consumer cash allowance on most 2023 Ram 1500 trucks. How do plastic bottles turn into this? WM and Reprieve have given new life to over 20 billion plastic bottles. And we're just getting started. See how recycling is one of the many ways WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at WM.com slash stories. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. And BK, have it your way. Yeah. 
There's three games tonight featuring teams from the Southland Conference and the Big Sky Conference. Sacramento State's at Nichols, Idaho's at Lamar, and then, of course, UC Davis here against a and Commerce. All three of the Big Sky teams are ranked in the polls. So big test for Southland Conference early. There's a nice play with a run up the middle. It's going to be taken by C.J. Hutton, the wide receiver. Hutton coming across from the that right side, just gets that inside handoff coming, coming around the left end, and plenty of running room as he... Picks up nine there to set up second and one for the Aggies. Junior from Folsom, California. Second down and short. Pistol formation. Hastings handoff. Dancing around to the left side. Breaking through a tackle and finally being brought down, but not until a really big, nice gain by the running back, Perez. Mateo Perez took that ball, tried to go just off the, the between the guard and tackle. There was nothing there. The defense had the interior clogged, bounced it outside and made all that happen with his own talent on the, the outside to get that big gain. Hastings had his team up to the line of scrimmage and ready to snap it 15 seconds into the play clock and then decided to get the sideline, get a new play. There's a slant pattern. It's going to be caught by Chaz Davis. Another first down for this UC Davis offense. You can just sense Hastings in that offense are starting to get the rhythm. And when you get an offense in rhythm, that, like you said, up to the line, setting that pace, you kind of can get the defense on their heels if they're not careful. And that's what we've seen them you know, move the ball down the field pretty efficiently. That second drive, doing it really quickly in this third drive of the quarter. Here is a... Quick end around, C.J. Hutton gets hit pretty hard after a short gain. Aggies already up over 100 yards of offense in this game. You know, we talked about they had nearly 500 yards of offense per game last season, and they're at 120 here with still four and a half minutes to play in this first quarter. Up 3-0 in field goal range right now, you would think. Looking for more. Here's a blitz. Nice, ball's ball comes out, and it's going to be recovered, it looks like, by a and Commerce, and it is as the ball falls out, and it looks like Rodriguez, Levi Drake Rodriguez, comes up with the fumble recovery as that blitz and it is scooped up by Rodriguez. He was right there. Looks like, looks like Robinson got that strip, Greg, as he came in on that with a pressure blitz and just hit the ball when he was going after Hastings and created that second turnover opportunity this opportunistic defense has had tonight. And he was untouched through that line. Nobody picked him up on that blitz. Robinson, as you said, got the sack fumble, and uh, Lions – Fortunate to get the ball back. Let's see if their offense can do anything here as the handoff goes to Hargrove for a couple yards. Oh. Adam Commerce had three yards of offense coming into this drive. And so their offense, their defense is doing their part. Their offense is going to have to kick it up a little bit. Second down and seven. There's a nice cutback to the left side by Ravian Hargrove. There is a little bit of a delay. Um, the, the score or the, the time on, on the TV broadcast, as you see, is a little bit off. It's... There's 317 on the clock. And now they blew the whistle. It's the clock is still running. They stopped it finally at 312. Flag. As he was coming around that far hash. And he chose to go inside. I think he felt like the defender had the angle on him. But if he bounces his outside and uses his speed and is able to get around the defender, there's a lot of open field down that sideline 
over there uh, that might have been an opportunity for him. As they go back and watch game film, it'll be interesting to see what coaches feedback on that and if there's any educational opportunities for the young men. Third down and three turns into third down and eight with that penalty. And there's a pass that is intercepted on the near side as UC Davis gets the turnover they needed to put them back. That is budget or budget with the with the interception on the near side. Yeah, Jahio Budget just ran the route a little better than the receiver. That was a, a nice little out pass that was supposed to happen. And the uh, receiver wasn't ready for it, uh, but Budget was and gets the big turnover there. Answers that turnover from earlier for the Aggies. You can see right here, Parrish just throws the ball. And you're right. He was expecting the receiver to cut a little bit sooner and it just didn't happen. And Budget was right there, able to get it and able to stay in bounds, catching that ball. Big, big play there on the defense. Looks like the receiver might have thought it was just like a, a, a streak pattern going down the sideline because I never really saw him check up to turn. And we're actually going to have this a replay, it looks like. So maybe he didn't get his feet in bounds as the uh, officials are going to look at this. And so we'll see exactly what, uh, what the – call is on that uh, it, this is a big call yeah it either is. way it's going to be it, it could be the fourth down they'd have to punt the ball but you're at least giving the ball past yeah. midfield if you punt yeah first down at your own 29 versus first down somewhere on their end of the field a bit a, a lot a lot different perspective you never want to give the offense a short field at any level whether you're playing peewee league or professional level and everything in between and that's what um, the Aggies were able to create here with that turnover so Commerce probably hoping this one gets overturned, even though it will be fourth down. And in Commerce being led by first-year coach Clint Dozell, and he is one of four coaches making their debut in the Southland Conference this, uh, or new head coaches making their debut this weekend. As he is waiting the call, and we will get it for you. And it is going to remain an interception. The microphone for the referee was was not working, but you could see him clearly point the direction of UC Davis first down. So the interception stands, and so now the defense for the Lions is going to have to step up once again. Had to be a pretty pretty clear replay because that didn't take long for them to to figure out that the the call would stand. Hastings. In the shotgun formation, he's going to hand it off on an end around. And whoa, oh. what a play was that? <laughs> oh, just a phenomenal, phenomenal play by Land Larison as he just hurdled the defender. Larison showing off his high stepping technique as he hurdles that. He had all kinds of open room on that right side. And when the defender comes up, just jumps over him. Look at him just. Jump over. <laughs> Sean Christoph King. Sean Christoph King going for the legs. And here's a Wildcat formation as it's a direct snap taken by Larison. And he's going to get all the way down to the five yard line. That's going to set up first and goal. Thought, man, you're going to jump over somebody? Let's just give you the ball. Larison with a lot of offense on this, this sequence. They uh, slow it down coming to the line, not getting up to the line as quick as they have. Larison already with over 60 yards rushing. And there he's in there again. Hastings over here on the near side playing receiver. And Larison is going to take it himself into the end zone. He faked a throw and uh, just tucked it and goes into the end zone. So that was a drive that was – Set up by the interception, and then a drive that was all. Well, Ford, Ford, Povey, and Maine, the left guard, center, and right guard for UC Davis created that. They opened up the interior of that Lion defense, and uh, Larison able to go right up the gut and make it happen. It's kind of a high snap. Larison doing a good job of running right up the middle and got hit at the goal line. We have a... Injured Lion down near the goal line after that touchdown. Looks like getting up and 
walking under his own power after being shaken up is Warren Robinson. He's going to jog off the field. You know, you talked about the Texas weather with the heat and humidity, even though it is a little bit nicer today than it has been in the last 30 or 40 days. You know, the key to that, in, especially early in the season when you, you're still trying to condition for a full full game speed for four quarters is hydration and rotation, Greg. You want to get your players rotated out if you can, especially the, the skill players that are running a lot and, uh, you know, your defensive uh, pursuit players that are blitzing and things like that. And uh, keep them fresh and make sure they're getting plenty of liquids so that they uh, don't have that cramping because that's what we may see as we get towards the third and fourth quarter of this game. Hunter Ridley going to try the extra point. So we still have some cleanup going on near yeah. the goal line. As, uh, uh, having to clean up some stuff there. So the Lions defense has done a good job forcing two turnovers. Their offense has struggled so far early in this game. And UC Davis struggled on that initial drive offensively. Then, then they had the interception. But then they've started to put it together, and they've, you see them start moving down, down the field. Well, they've yet to punt. I believe, Greg. They've they've had two turnovers that killed drives, but they've moved the ball, other than those two turnovers, pretty effectively uh, in this first quarter so far. Ridley with the extra point attempt here to make it 10 to nothing. Ball is down, kick is up, and it is good. So a minute 44 to play and it, in the first quarter. It's 10 nothing. And, and to your point, Adam, they have 142 total yards of offense in the first quarter. I mean, they're on pace to almost 600 yards of offense. Yeah, they're they're actually at a pace higher than their season average of nearly 500 yards a game last year. So it looks like this Aggie defense just reloaded, and there's there's a reason they're ranked number 16 in the coaches' poll is because the, the, a lot of returning starters there on offense, and they already had a very effective offense last year. So. Um, they're showing that they're ready for the season in this first quarter of action, but they're going to have to work on the turnover game. Uh, meanwhile, the line defense making the big plays on getting the turnovers, but not able to make the stops to get the ball back for their, their offense. And the offense just struggling right now. You see Davis finished fifth last year in the Big Sky Conference with a 5-3 and three record. Sacramento State and Montana State both 8-0. Weber State six and two, and Idaho was six and two also. So finishing right behind them. Lions will get the ball, trailing by ten. See if they can, what they can do here offensively against this defense. Ball's going to be taken this time and not fair caught. Out to the twenty, and being pushed back there is Sean Christoph King. He's going to get out. They're going to mark it around the 21. King showed some strong running there. As he evaded a couple of tackles, took a, a pretty good hit, and stayed up, kept his feet moving. But uh, that uh, coverage team quick to swarm around him to bring him down. Christoph King last year was the was the main kick returner for this, this team. He had 12 attempts, 272 yards. He averaged just under 23 yards per return last year. So we'll see what they can do. Here's Parrish in the gun. He's going to throw it quick out. And nice play there. I by, like, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was say, it was nice play there by Leon Young. I like the call because they've really struggled with the interior run. They're, they're not winning at the line of scrimmage. So that was a quick snap, hot pass out just on a slant, and it gets enough yardage for a first down. and gives them a little room on offense. Nice run up the middle. Almost almost what looks like a trap play that uh, going against the grain. Uh, they're able to get some yards as that opened up a little bit. And I have to think it's because of that, that first down pass. Probably created a little room there. Um, Shaminsky Rucker on that carry for the Lions. Second down and five. Parrish 
trying to get away, and he is going to be brought down in the backfield for a loss of yardage. Yeah, he tried to get her on the right side, but there's no room. Teddy Buchanan leading the charge for the Aggies to bottle him up on the line sideline and bring him down for a loss. That was the designed run play, too. Right. Mean, he wasn't looking to throw at all. That last first down, that was the first first down that the Lions have had in this game. With As the first quarter is winding down to an end, we'll see if they get a playoff here with five seconds. They are going to run one more. Parrish is going to step up, and he's going to be brought down after a short one-yard gain. And that's going to bring up a fourth down play as we go to the second quarter. It's been all UC Davis so far in this one. They lead 10 to nothing. Be a fourth down and six whenever we come back. After this break, teams will flip sides. Don't go anywhere. Listen. How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. There's never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now's the time to get in and get away. Right now, get the Tucson or Santa Fe with up to 2,500 total savings. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Eat pretzels. Eat more pretzels. Watch movies. Watch more movies. Get airline miles. Get one key cash. Book in-app to earn one key cash on top of your airline miles. MLB chooses T-Mobile for Business for 5G solutions to not only enhance the fan experience, but to advance how the game is played. Now's the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. On season six of Fansville by Dr. Pepper, things are heating up. Mom, Dad, I have a girlfriend, and she likes college football. The stars have arrived. I've made my choice. This season, I will be drinking Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. And everyone wants a taste of fame. Welcome back to Chuck's Take, because every fan needs a podcast. To get a thick color, I use two coats of maroon. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. I love your nails. Thank you. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? What do you want? Quarter pounder with cheese. Royale with cheese. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. How many filet of fishes did you eat? That's over several months, Ryan. In Puerto Rico, a McFlurry eats cola, Senor Flurry. Two golden menus. McDonald's. 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 They're McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Are you gonna order something? I used to watch the Heisman House every year on TV. And I'd always wonder, is it real? It's very real. Take a little bit more up the top. Now that I've been here a while, it's a lot like campus. We have roommates. Hey, Caleb, just try and keep it down. It's nap time. Of course there's a gym. Ten. All right, people, here we go. Looking good, RG3. No, you're looking good, RG3. Yeah, so it's a lot we need like... Room, rookie. We're doing a ticky top. Bound, bound. Just like campus. Mitchell McGarry on two punt to open up the second quarter. High kick. Fair caught at the 26-yard line. That is where the Aggies will take over. Up 10 to nothing, looking to extend this lead. Don't go anywhere. You're watching college football right here on ESPN+. You hear that? No. This cheesesteak is so freshly grilled, you can still hear it sizzling. Listen. The sizzling, the chopping, the spatula. 
I can hear it too. Me too. Actually, it's the. Hello? Cheesesteak? Grill. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. With the Home Depot app, the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach. Need specialized equipment? Tool, truck, and equipment rentals are just a tap away. Working a tight schedule? Order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free. Managing expenses? Use our app to easily track and earn your Pro Extra benefits. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. Yeah, with Metro, there's no contracts, no price hikes, no surprises. There's not a yada yada. Wait, Metro has not the contract yada yada? Or this surprise yada yada. Price hike yada yada. Yada 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 yada. Contract yada yada. And this yada yada. I don't know, kid. That one makes sense. Oh. Nada yada yada means wireless without the gotcha. No contracts, no price hikes, no surprises. Only at Metro. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? What do you want? What can I get? Quarter pounder with cheese. Royal with cheese. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. How many filet of fishes did you eat? That's over several months, Ryan. In Puerto Rico, a McFlurry, it's called a Señor Flurry. Two golden menus. McDonald's. 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 They're McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Are you gonna order something? Back in Commerce, Texas, where UC Davis leads the Commerce Lions by a score 10 to nothing. Just underway here in the second quarter. Hastings with a quick pass on a slant route. Nice catch and hanging on to it, Justin Kraft. Yeah, the coverage wasn't too bad. Kendall Paul on coverage there, and he was tight enough. He makes the tackle immediately. Just a really crisp pass there by Hastings. It was right on spot for the receiver. Hastings alone in the backfield, and he's got to get rid of it quickly. Lions are coming on a blitz and a nice catch. Trying to get away from the defender was Lance Babb, the second. Able to shake that first hit and take what should have been maybe a very minimal gain and get three out of it. Set up second and seven here for the Aggies. Pistol formation for the Aggies. Play clock under 15. We haven't seen that much from them. Second down in seven. Handoff and not getting. Uh, Very much. There's a late flag. It might be a face mask. I think they're going to get a face mask call there on the lines. I didn't see it clean, but when the way his helmet jerked, it, it looks like that's probably what it was. Teo Perez with the carry, and he's going to be the recipient of that face mask. I think the defender's hand, just as he was trying to make the tackle, came across there. That just happens sometimes. I mean, it wasn't a malicious or intentional, or at least it didn't appear to be at live speed. 15-yard penalty and put the Aggies in Lion territory at the 42-yard line. Hastings, three receivers far side, and defensively, there's only – now the Lions kind of covered. They only had one defender back over there to cover three receivers. Here's a handoff and getting tripped up at the line of scrimmage, but somehow still able – to find his way for five or six yards is Trent Tompkins. I think Tompkins kind of tripped over the 40-yard the line there as he had uh, a lane there on that left side. I, I didn't see anybody that made the contact, and he just kind of started stumbling forward, stumbled forward for a few more yards, but uh, fortunately for that line defense didn't get much more. Second down and five for the Aggies. Looking to add to their 10-0 lead. Here's Hastings. Wide open receiver across the middle. Get down to the 25 yard line on the play is Andre Crump Jr. Crump, <laughs> Hastings rolling right. Crump just found the soft spot in the defense. Defense coverage was pretty good. And then Crump snuck into that little spot uh, on, the, on the hash right around that 25 and gave Hastings a target that uh, worked out well for him as they are just about in scoring position once again. And 
that puts them at 175 yards of offense. And we're only two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Hastings, three receivers to the far side. Another handoff. Stovall this time. I'm sorry, uh, Perez once again. Gets up to the 22-yard line. Warren Robinson leading the way for the Lion defense to make the tackle. Second down and seven. You see Davis already with 10 first downs in this game. Lions with just one. You see Davis has yet to commit a penalty. There's the Hastings. Nice fake at the line of scrimmage and wow. a pass that is caught. <laughs> Had a hard time bringing him down. Like number 82, was that who Yeah, that Ian Simpson. Yeah, Ian Simpson going, going beast mode there. As he was just carrying line defenders as he hopped forward. It's a great pass. There's three or four Lions that finally had to bring him down. Tight end, 240 pounds, and you could see every bit of it there. There is a... Wildcat formation once again. Not much room for Laris at this time as that A&M that Commerce defense uh, stepped up on that right side and just shut down the, the running lanes that he thought would be there, set up a second goal. And we're going to have a timeout on the field. It looks like we had an injured Lion player with 10-34. And so I think we'll go ahead and step aside with them. We'll be back. UC Davis looking to add to their lead. Don't go anywhere here on ESPN+. Plus. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that suck you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get set? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Become an auntie. Book a flight. Stay four nights. Meet the baby. Make the baby cry. Give the baby back. Fly home. Silver tear in a single trip. Join one key and move up tiers fast. Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to expect. Expertise. Whether it's life-saving brain surgery, your 3D mammogram that catches breast cancer sooner, or orthopedic specialists helping you feel stronger than ever. With hundreds of doors across Houston, you can get expert care everywhere. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Enjoy your meal. Thanks, you too. Question, how do you recover from an awkward exchange? Uh, hey, don't forget to set your lineup tonight. ESPN Fantasy Football. Thank you. Second down and goal for the Aggies. Already up 10-0, looking to extend that lead. Lions hoping to get another turnover. Keep it at 10. Hastings alone in the backfield. He's going to keep it himself. I'm sorry, that's Larison. They're getting on that wildcat that they like to do inside the, the red zone. Yeah, you see Davis showing they are very much a team with that wildcat offense when they get inside the 10-yard line. Larison uh, move, getting the ball every snap for the last five snaps in the inside the 10-yard line. Now Hastings 
back in there, and he's going to go out wide. And once again, Larison alone in the backfield on this third down and goal. He's going to keep it right up the middle, and he's just going to bulldoze his way into the end zone for a touchdown. I guess that's why. He's very effective at what he does. And, Greg, we saw that second injury. It looked like a second heat-related injury here for the Lions. You talked about the heat and the effects that it could have on players through the game. Uh, and so we're still in the first half, and it looks like that's what we're still dealing with. Larison last year, 65 carries, 486 yards. He had four touchdowns. You can see that he's going to be featured a little bit more, it looks like, in the offense this year. This extra point attempt coming up here by the Aggies. And the ball is up, and it is good. Hunter Ridley with the extra point, and that – Takes a lead 17 to nothing with nine minutes and 50 seconds to play in the half. Random Commerce needs to regroup and figure out how to get back in this game on offense. We come back here on ESPN Plus. You hear that? This cheesesteak is so freshly grilled. You can still hear it sizzling. Listen. The sizzling. The chopping. The spatula. I can hear it too. Me too. Actually, it's the. Hello? Cheesesteak? Grill. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. Wadi! Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Who do you even play for? T-Mobile. T-Mobile has plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. That's good play, Colin. Cheers. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Unless something changes for the Lions, they are in danger of losing for the first time on opening night or a season opener since 2012. They've won their last 10 season openers. And right now they trail 17 to nothing to UC Davis. And we're going to have a fair catch called for in the end zone. The Lions will have the ball at the 25-yard line. Fair comp by Christoph King. So the little bit of success they saw in that last drive with it was with a quick release pass. It was a one step. It's, of course, a shotgun, snap back, set, fire the ball on the slant. The quick moves like that and follow it with a quick hit right up the middle. They've got to do that. they got to do the quick pass, the misdirection. They're not showing the ability yet to keep that defensive line, defensive front for UC out of the backfield long enough to set up a pocket pass. So let's see what they do in this series. Parrish with the handoff up the middle and a nice tackle. Uh, he didn't look, he didn't look like he was ever down, but the whistle blew. He's down now, but uh, he was stopped at the 24, but it, it looked like he was, unless his ankle or something hit. Kavir Baines with that nice tackle, grabbing the ankle and not letting go until he got some help. Was 
Rucker on the carry for the Lions. Second down and seven. Another handoff to Rucker, and this time it's blown up in the backfield. Yeah, Teddy Buchanan coming in and getting him high to bring him down in the backfield for a loss is that uh, Aggie defense is, is more than the Lions can handle right now. Actually, I believe that was Hargrove on the carry. I said Rucker. I believe that's number five out there. It's hard to tell with the way those jerseys are bunching. It might be six. It is number six, Rucker. Parrish, back to pass. He's going to keep it, and he is going to be hit in the backfield and brought down, and another flag comes in in the area of holding. We'll see if that's what the call is. Joey Carrillo came off number 91, came off that right side for the defense, just unchecked, and um, forced, forced him to try to scramble and move out. He had the little pump fake that kind of froze the defense for a second, but just absolutely no room or time to make the pass. It's actually a personal foul, hands to the face against the Lions, and they're going to back them up 15 or half the distance to goal probably. The ball will be placed at the 12-and-a-half-yard line. It's going to be third down. About 22, 23 year, yards to go. Parrish alone in the backfield. He's going to step up. And he's going to be brought down in the backfield at the 10-yard line. UC Davis is winning the battle of the line of scrimmage when it comes to the defensive and offensive line right now. Yeah, Carrillo right there. Just He was on, in pursuit on that last play and forced that sack, and then he just stepped right in the backfield and met the quarterback there. No room whatsoever being allowed. As you're right, that front defensive line for uh, UC Davis is just – dominating and, and establishing the line of scrimmage in the backfield of the Lions pretty much every play right now. Mitchell McGarry standing halfway into his end zone. And here's a high kick, caught, fair catch called for near midfield. And that's where the Aggies will take over in great field position, already up by 17. That was a late and dangerous fair catch signal right there on the Lions sideline with the, the pursuit coming right in his face. A lot of times you see guys do that and then lose concentration and drop the ball. It was nice, nice uh, uh, discipline for him to be able to go ahead and watch the ball in. And also nice discipline for the Lions that were right there seeing it and not hitting him as soon as he caught the ball. So Hastings back out there to lead this team. Ball placed at the 49-yard line for the Lions. Here's a handoff on the near side and brought back down in the backfield is Perez. That time, the defense all over it. It's like number 40. Hey. Michael Surface, I believe. Yeah, he came off that block and was able to get that tackle for a four-yard loss. Second down and 14. Hastings now they hand off up the middle. Surface showed tremendous speed on the last play, just stringing that play out and getting closing in to make tackle. But nice gain there for the Aggies on second down. Yeah, Perez. A nice play, as you said, getting seven, making it third down and manageable for this offense. See if the Lions can force a punt for the first time. Here's a throw, and there's a nice catch on the far sideline. What a great play that was. A good pass by Hastings, and then Justin Kraft with a nice going to the ground catch. Yeah, when you see Kraft work around the receiver to create the space to catch that, and then makes so it looks like it possibly could have been a flag for defensive interference even as the, the corner over there tried to recover but unable to do so. Just beautiful move by Kraft to get himself open and make that catch for the conversion. So first down and 10 after that catch by Kraft. Here's Hastings with another mm. play action play up the middle and getting all the way down inside the five yard line on the play. And that is gonna be 
missed that number. They said number 10, I thought. Or, I don't know, but it looked a little bit like Travis Kelsey out there, quite frankly, the way he got open just going down that seam and, and beat it back. Nice play. I think it's Trent Tompkins on that catch and brought down at the <laughs> two-yard line. Nice play-action play there by Hastings. Now Wildcat formation once again. Larrison is going to be blown up in the backfield and – Loses one yard, and we got helmet comes off. That was a, that was a collision. That was like that was a hit stick collision there in the backfield, as that line defense. I didn't see who got the lick. There were three three defenders around him, make a nice stop there on Larrison. So be second down and goal from the three yard line. You see Davis already up seventeen nothing, looking to add to that lead as we got five minutes to play here in the first half. AM Commerce with only 21 total yards so far in this game. And here is a handoff on an end around, and CJ Hutton walks into the end zone to extend this lead to 23 to nothing. And this Aggie offensive line just putting a putting a clinic on as you watch this replay. The the opening that was created for him to get through there was so wide. You or I might have made that touchdown, Greg, even even at this point in our lives, because this this offensive line just putting on a clinic on blocking lanes, angles, and getting the work done in the trenches. 246 total yards of offense for the Aggies. Extra point is up, and it is good. Once again, Hunter Ridley getting that. 24 to nothing. You see Davis all over the Lions here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on ESPN+. Plus. Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to expect. Expertise. Whether it's life-saving brain surgery, your 3D mammogram that catches breast cancer sooner, or orthopedic specialists helping you feel stronger than ever. With hundreds of doors across Houston, you can get expert care everywhere. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Businesses need 5G solutions today. That's why they choose T-Mobile for business. MLB partners with T-Mobile to not only enhance the fan experience, but to advance how the game is played. AAA relies on T-Mobile's network to stay connected nationwide so they can help get their members back on the road. And we're helping Pano AI innovate to stop the spread of wildfires. Now's the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. Book a work trip, earn one key cash, shake some hands, do not forget to laugh. Book a getaway from work trip, use one key cash, order some sides, do not disturb. Join one key to earn and use rewards across Expedia, Hotels.com, and Verbo. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? What do you want? What do you want? Quarter pounder with cheese. Royal with cheese. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. How many filet of fishes did you eat? That's over several months, Ryan. In Puerto Rico, I'm at Flurry. It's called a Senor Flurry. Two golden menus. McDonald's. 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 They're McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Are you going to order something? Welcome back to Memorial Stadium. Memorial Stadium was actually the site of the 2023 those new tiles are falling right into place. This year, of course, A&M Commerce, this is only their second year in Division I, part of the Southland Conference. Still on a probation period for a couple more years where they can't participate in postseason play, but uh, trying to build this program as you see that kick into the end zone for a touchback. Christoph King taking the knee. Exciting time for the Lions and uh, the the – School here as they did move up to Division One, like you said last year, Greg. But um, 
Not much exciting for him tonight on the field so far, except a couple of times, a couple of bright spots on defense with the turnovers they created. But other than that, you see Davis imposing their will on Texas A&M tonight. You see Davis with 24 points on the scoreboard. A&M Commerce has 21 total yards. That's all you really need to know right now in the first half. Parrish looking to set up a screen, and there's a nicely developing play there on that screen pass. That's how it's supposed Ridgey to work. Branch on that carry or catch. Get your blockers out in front. Get your running back, a receiver in in open space like that, and that's that's textbook screen play right there. Second down and one. Parrish is going to be brought down in the backfield. Just not a lot of running room. Those designed running plays tonight have not really opened up for for the Lions. That offensive line not giving the time that needed because of the defense has been so good. Well, there's three things. Number one, they're losing the battle at the line of scrimmage to that defensive line. The defense is staying disciplined in, play, in place, and the team speed on that defense is impressive uh, tonight, Greg. Under four minutes to play. It's third down and short. Big third down. You don't really want to give this ball back to UC Davis here at the end of the half. And here's a handoff, and it looks like that might be what happens. Oh, wait, no, Hargrave. Breaks a tackle. Oh, well, they're going to blow it dead. Forward progress had uh, stopped in the opinion of the referees. So it is going to wind up going for a loss. I would tend to agree with them on that. I, <laughs> well, I would too. I didn't hear the whistle blow until uh, everybody stopped moving. Hargrove kept fighting, though. you got to like that about him. You do. You want to see that. But just what we just talked about, you the thing you didn't want to do, you're about to do, you're about to give this offense the ball back with about three minutes to play in the half, and you're already down 24 to nothing. So we'll see what uh, the offense for the Aggies can come up with. Mitchell we're McGarry, we're going to have a – Delay of game penalty on the Lions. That was a personnel situation. They didn't have everybody in there, and they had some late people running onto the field. And a lot of times you see that in the first game because, you know, in college you don't get the preseason games like you do in professional and <laughs> other places. You, this is this is basically your first preseason game. Yeah, this is and, the preseason, right? <laughs> and so you've got, you, you've got those kinks you're working out and uh, those things – Still not something you want to see happen. It's not something you want to go through if you're the Lions. Here's a nice kick by McGarry taken at the 30-yard line and being brought down after a short return is Perez out to the 32. Jerome Buckner and number 25, uh, Jules Unique Demps in on the tackle there. They were good contained by the coverage. That was a long punt, but it was flat. So it's one of those punts that sometimes you all kick your coverage and give the, rece the returner a lot of room. But great, great coverage there by the Lions to get down and make that tackle and make it a little bit longer field here for the Aggies to try to get down. You're the, the Lions, you want to get off the field without giving up any more scores here in the first half. Two and a half minutes to play here in the first half. Hastings in the pistol formation. Ball sitting at the 32-yard line. Already up 24 to nothing. Looking to add more. Hastings to the oh. outside. Balls is dropped. I feel like he either heard steps or, or was thinking about the run before he, before he got that ball watched into his hands. As that was a, The ball was there. It hit him in the hands. Just, uh, just a drop. Leon Young. Helmet comes off, so he has to come out of the game for a play. Hastings rolling out. He's got a receiver wide open near side. Gets across the 40-yard line on the play and finally dragged out of bounds was Tompkins. It looked like on this, this side that the defensive backs didn't know their assignments. There's three receivers over here. Two of them cut in, and all of the receivers basically follow them, or the defenders follow them, leaving that outside receiver open for that pass. First down and 10. Hastings throwing it near side, trying to get to the outside and get out of bounds. Cross midfield. 
diving on the play was Andre Crump Jr. It's like They're going to say he actually stepped out about the 49. Second down and short. Pistol formation. Hastings handing the ball off. Larrison bounces it back out and gets the first down up near the 40. Larrison with great vision. That's the second time we've seen him go in a design run that's going to be off tackle. There's nothing there, so he bounces it outside and just uses his speed to create some space and get some yards. Uh, just great vision. Uh, a lot of patience running there and a, a lot of maturity that he's showing tonight in his running attack. Balanced attack so far, 148 passing yards, 129 rushing yards for the Aggies. Hastings back to pass, looking deep down the middle, under pressure. He's going to throw it near side. He's got a receiver. What a great play there by Hastings, keeping the ball alive and then finally able to find Justin Kraft. He was looking for the knockout punch deep on the seam, but it wasn't there. Good pursuit by the line defense to put the pressure on him, but it's just a great play. Hastings showing the maturity and the accuracy as he's rolling out, just gets that ball right on spot for the reception and the first down. And you got to think they're probably already in field goal range with the ball at the 25-yard line. First down and 10. You know they're looking for more than just the field goal. Here's Larrison on that left side. Breaks a couple of tackles, and there it is. As the defense could not bring him down near the line of scrimmage, and he just squirted through Larrison. and extends this lead. Larrison showing some dance moves on that left side as he goes around going out the hash that he – Stutter steps, does a crossover, evades a couple of tackles, and he's got nothing but green turf ahead of him until he gets to that end zone. And it took a minute 28 what? for them to march down the field and score. There it is. What a great play. <laughs> As the Lions were trying there again to go for the go for the the legs. And that kick is good. Hits the hijacker by <laughs> it's the hijacker in the background. It bounces right back. 31 to nothing. And as I said, they took over with right at two and a half minutes on the clock. I think it was 224 to be exactly. Yeah. And they marched down the field in less than a minute and a half and with precision. And already here in the first half, they have over 300 total yards, 317 total yards of offense. And pretty balanced attack, as I said, 163 through the air, 154 on the ground. They've already got 17 first downs in yeah. this game. That was a clean possession. The only mistake was the drop by the receiver on the far side on that first down play. After that, even with the, the plays where it looked like um, uh, Texas A&M had good pursuit, they're able to get positive yards. And like you said, they got the ball down the field in a very quick fashion. Uh, UC Davis, everything clicking for them here tonight on offense and defense. They have – Zero penalties as well in the game. I mean, pretty mistake-free football we're seeing from the Aggies. There's a high, deep kick taken in the end zone and going to bring it out as King and trying to break a tackle and push his way up near the 20 before he gets brought down about the 18, maybe the 19-yard line. So I would imagine – Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm coached for 57 seconds, I'm probably just kneeling the ball and taking it into the halftime. Um, your offense has really struggled. I mean, you might hand it off and just see if you get any room. Hope You know, you don't want to fumble. But, I mean, I don't know if I'd kneel, but I'm certainly not going to be throwing passes. I yeah. might run it. If I get a big chunk of yards on a run play, then you got your timeouts to work with. you got all three of them still left, and you can think about that. But, yeah, I, I don't – I don't. what you don't want to do is give them the ball back again in this half. Parrish looking to pass. He's going to step up and run it himself, trying to get to the outside. He's going to get out of bounds right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Maybe a half a yard. And I don't know that that, that may have been a design pass, but he tucked that ball quick. Of course, there was a lot of pressure quick, but he tucked that ball quick and took off. And that's just been one of those plays that they've tried doing tonight, and they just haven't been successful with the quarterback run because the defensive pressure has collapsed so so quickly on them. Parrish, once again, this time he's going to hand the ball off. 
And coming around the near side, breaking a tackle, still on his feet across the 40, trying to get to midfield, spins around and gets knocked down about the 48, 49 yard line. And that was, well, that was number six. Rucker on the carry. That was a great run as they created. This is what I was talking about. He gets a little run. Looks like he's going to get tackled, but he bounces out. You can watch him here. Bounces left, and there's open field. He jukes the defender, comes back inside, uses his hands to keep himself up, and makes a big gain. Even after the, the second contact deep, he keeps it up a little bit and gets even more yardage. Just a so great run there. Commerce, you know, I mean, Texas A&M Commerce now uh, right at midfield, almost in, uh, in Aggie territory best positioning since the, the interception in the first quarter, Greg, that they've had. And uh, only 42 seconds, but there's an opportunity here to make some noise on offense for the Lions. First down and 10 near midfield. Longest play of the game for the Lions by far. And it was Rucker, oh. and the ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage. <laughs> when you see the ball go up, that, that, I didn't see what defender got his hand on it, but that ball went straight up. And, man, that's when you think there's a defensive lineman that's about to get an interception <laughs> in that play. You just want to get the ball down on the turf as quick as you can if you're on offense in that situation. Talk about that, that run by Rucker. How big was it? The Lions had 26 total yards of offense. That play went for 30 by itself. 37 seconds, second down and 10. Back to pass, looking, trying to go deep. Finally has a receiver, oh, and it's no. undercut by the Aggies. <laughs> as it looked like on the play, Parrish kind of telegraphed where he was throwing that. He was looking the same direction the entire time, and it was intercepted. Number six. Yeah, intercepted. Yeah. Marquise Alexander. And you'll see it on the replay. He just took, he saw the, he saw all the way where this ball was going, and he steps right in front of it. Uh, it's a little bit underthrown, and as that ball gets picked, it's nothing but sideline in front of him. He doesn't step out of bounds. That's a defensive touchdown. But fortunately, he uh, stepped out of bounds. So now <laughs> you see Davis with a chance to add some more. Here's a quick pass near midfield. And his pass is going to be complete. C.J. Hutton and a quick timeout taken. The ball sitting right in the middle of the lion head at midfield. I wouldn't be surprised here if they don't set up that play that we saw in the last sequence where they were going to go deep and then he ends up dumping the ball to number 17 coming across just as relief. I would, I would expect Hastings to, to pump, to, to play action, fake it, do a pump fake to try to get the defensive back and then go over the seam, either that big tight end or one of the receivers and just try to get it all right here. They've, they've looked for that play a couple of times tonight, and it's not been there. If I'm if I'm the coaching staff, that's probably what I, what I want to see them do here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run that play twice uh, had, if it doesn't work the first time. You had the, you had the play also, Josh Gale, the tight end, as you see the replay there. Josh Gale, the tight end where they, right. they did the play action right. handoff and Josh Gale wide open and gets all the way down to the one-yard line. You could see something like that as well, a little tight end. Uh, yeah, that's what I said, either the tight end across. Or, or the wide receiver, but that's what I want to – I'm doing that play twice. If it doesn't work the first time, I'm trying it one more time. Second down and two, Hastings looking to throw deep down the sideline, and that one's going to be intercepted. There's a flag. Defense okay. Jump. The defense jump. Uh, okay, out. so a free play. Yeah, that was a free play for the offense there. Yeah, good call. The, I didn't see that uh, on that side. Let's see who it was, but his right side of that defensive line came across before the snap, so that was a free play all the way, and why not try it at that point? Yeah, so Hastings knew he had a free play, so he throws it up for interception. I'm glad you saw that. It was on the far side near midfield. So do, I'm going to run it again if I'm UC Davis. I'm going to do the same. And this time they're splitting receivers right and left. Hastings standing right at midfield, rolling out to his left. And he's going to keep it. A lot of room over there, and he's going to 
get out of bounds near the 42-yard line. So 10 seconds left. And this is one of those where it's always a, one of those questions. Do you go deep towards the end zone or do you try to get about, you know, 20, 25 quick yards and put it in field goal position? You know, what's, uh, what's the, the proper play here? You're up 31 to nothing. Is this a chance where you want to work on a deep pass because well. – it is preseason, and you do have such a big lead. Or I think you do. He was rolled. That was a design rollout to his left. He had uh, number ten Grant Harper over there. He just didn't get open, so Hastings just took it out for the quick game. Oh, oh it's intercepted. Oh. A quick and, pass. Uh, the defense going the other direction and oh. just tripped up on the play as that was Max Epps Max jumping Epps. in front of the receiver. So with one second on the clock, Max Epps was that going is, for the end zone. Is that a second interception? Max Epps stepping in front of that, playing beautiful job at defense, steps in front of that, and he has nothing but six points on his mind and gets tripped up there at the last minute. So we're going to get one second here for a timeout. You see him just step right in front of the pass. He played that better than the receiver. He, the receiver tried to face him a little bit. Didn't happen. He's off to the races. Cuts back because he's got to beat the quarterback, and when he does, he just gets tripped up by the shoestrings there. It's going to set up a, a, a last-second field goal attempt as the Lions try to get on the board here with one second left in the half. It's going to be a right at a 39-yard field goal. Ball is down, kick is up, and it's long enough, and it splits the uprights. And Emmanuel Adegban is going to put a and Commerce on the scoreboard for the first time in this 2023 season. What a huge play. They had a chance to go down even more, and a little turn of events there. And the defense, the defense, the bright spot here for the Lions as they've had three turnovers now. That one's setting up their scoring opportunity. So it's going to take us to halftime. You see Davis up 31-3. to Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with our halftime right here. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. There's never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty, and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now's the time to get in and get away. Right now, get up to 750 bonus cash on the Elantra or 3.29% APR. Visit buyhyundai.com today. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Fly to Paris, see the tower, smaller than you expected, wait in line. See the Mona Lisa, smaller than you expected. Check in, see your room, bigger than you expected. Join One Key, where gold and platinum members get travel perks like room upgrades. <laughs> get all your faves, like an order of small fries for just a few bucks, only on the McDonald's one, two, three dollar menu. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. 
Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that suck you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, Ben. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to load up on more toys, to stop looking for fun and be the one who brings it, and to make every day even more inviting than the last. Make this the summer you drive America's best light duty pickup. During the Ram Labor Day sales event, get 4,000 retail consumer cash allowance on most 2023 Ram 1500 trucks. Lion marching band out on the field, trying to hype up this crowd. They haven't had much to root for in the first half, as it has been all UC Davis 31-3. Band hoping to bring some life into this crowd. We're going to take another break. When we come back, we'll get you some stats from the first half. Don't go anywhere. Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to expect. Expertise. Whether it's life-saving brain surgery, your 3D mammogram that catches breast cancer sooner, or orthopedic specialists helping you feel stronger than ever. With hundreds of doors across Houston, you can get expert care everywhere. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to load up on more toys, to stop looking for fun and be the one who brings it and to make every day even more inviting than the last. Make this the summer you drive America's best light duty pickup. During the Ram Labor Day sales event, get 4,000 retail consumer cash allowance on most 2023 Ram 1500 trucks. 180, 180. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, Ben. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to get more in before the sun goes down. Make this the summer. You drive America's best light duty pickup. Book a work trip, earn one key cash, shake some hands. Do not forget to laugh. Book a get away from work trip. Use one key cash, order some sides. Do not disturb. Join one key to earn and use rewards across Expedia, Hotels.com and Verbo. Yeah, with Metro, there's no contracts, no price hikes, no surprises. There's not a yada yada. Wait, Metro has not the contract yada yada? Or this surprise yada yada. Price hike yada yada. Yada 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 yada. Contract yada yada. And this yada yada. I don't know, kid. That one makes sense. Nada yada yada means wireless without the gotcha. No contracts, no price hikes, no surprises. Only at Metro. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? What do you want? What can I get? Quarter pounder with cheese. Royal with cheese. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. How many filet of fishes did you eat? That's over several months, Ryan. In Puerto Rico, a McFlurry. It's called a Señor Flurry. Two golden menus. McDonald's. 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 They're McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. 
Are you gonna order some? Last year, Adam, UC Davis outscored their opponents 140 to 82 in the second quarter. Coming into this game, kind of thought that was going to possibly be one of those turning points, one of those pivotal points. And in this one, they put up 21 points, outscoring AM Commerce 21 to 3. The statistics, the way you would think they would, if you look at the score and you see a 31 to 3 halftime game, statistics bear that out. Yeah, you saw UC Davis come out, and they were a little, little ten tentative in some ways in that first quarter. They had that drive that was uh, stopped in midfield by the interception. Then they get down the field, and they kick a field. They have to settle for a field goal because they couldn't punch the ball in after getting down to about the 20-yard line or so. And then they had the third, the second turnover with the strip fumble as they were driving in, inside the 30-yard line. And all that happened in the first quarter. So they were a little tentative. But after that, man, they hit their stride. And they, they played perfect football until that last interception with 10 seconds left in the half as they were able to execute and complete every drive in the end zone like you're supposed to do with uh, Larison just being uh, in beast mode inside the 20 as he took over in the Wildcat formation and ran all over the place in those situations. Miles Hastings has... 171 passing yards. He does have the two interceptions. And as you said, Larison, he has 14 attempts, 108 yards. He's averaging 7.7 .7 yards per carry. He has three touchdowns already. He only had four touchdowns all last year. And he has three in the first half of the opening game tonight. Uh, defensively, that defensive line, just completely dominated. As you look on the other side, you've got Parrish that um, has been scrambling. He's got an 8.5 rating. I mean, because he's been three of seven for 19 yards, uh, just not not a very good. He's got negative 10 rushing yards. Well, he's got no space. The the offensive line is not creating any space. You got to give your running running backs, your quarterback space and protection. All, all you got to do is give them a gap. It's their job to get through it, but when you have no gaps, it's just a solid line that, that you're running into or no time. You get the snap, and within a second and a half, there are defenders in the backfield. It's hard to have a successful offense with that. But, I mean, when you look down this, you see uh, Davis' uh, roster. I mean, Hastings is a sophomore at quarterback. He's a sophomore, and he's doing these type of things. Larison's a junior. A lot of these skill positions are, are sophomores, juniors. They got a lot of... A lot of talent there and still still a lot of playing time in front of them over this season and next. So looks like t two teams, at, at least through the first half, at two different levels in the program as UC Davis hitting their stride, ranked number 16, expecting to make some noise in their pursuit of a championship this year where the Lions with their first-year head coach really trying to work on building their offense and maintaining that defensive power that they had last year. 328 total yards for the Aggies to only 57 for the Lions. And as I talked about pretty much the entire half, very balanced attack by UC Davis, 171 passing yards, 157 rushing yards, 18 first downs. I mean, that that to me, you, 18 first downs in a game is good. You have 18 first downs at halftime. So it'll be interesting to see what happens coming out of the second half, um, how both teams kind of adjust and, and what they do. Well, if you're UC Davis, it's more of the same, right? Just keep executing, keep doing what you do. We're dominating this game. Let's just finish this game and get on the bus, get on the plane, get back home. For Commerce, or for Texas A&M, what you want to see is what worked well. There wasn't much, but there were a few bright spots on them. Uh, that quick pass followed with the, the misdirection runs, things like that. There are some opportunity for Com or Texas A&M to come out here and make some hay. Let's see what they do with the adjustments. And both teams want to get out of here, obviously, with no injuries. I mean, the score is what it is, and you want to try and build on this going into next time. We're going to take another commercial break. We'll be back with the third quarter here on ESPN+. Plus. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. 
Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? Go to m o a o k i m a i desu ka? Quarter pounder with cheese. Royal with cheese. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. How many filet of fishes did you eat? That's over several months, Ryan. In Puerto Rico, a McFlurry i t s called a Senor Flurry. Two golden menus. McDonald's. 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 They're McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Are you gonna order something? How At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? Go to Momoa, Okimai desu ka? Quarter pounder with cheese. Royal with cheese. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to load up on more toys, to stop looking for fun.
Back in Commerce, Texas, home of the Texas A&M Commerce Lions. Glad to have you along for opening night. Week one, college football. Kickoffs going on all over tonight and then also the rest of the weekend. Some big games this weekend. Glad to have you along. Greg Higgins, Adam Routon here in the press box calling this one 31-3 as it has been all UC Davis in this game. And, Adam, you and I, I mean, we, all, we broadcast uh, game, high school games around, you know, the area, and we always talk about the first five minutes of the third quarter and how, it, how you can tell a lot about the coaching and the scheming and what's going to happen based off those three to five minutes in the third quarter because you can see the adjustments that are happening on uh, – uh, from the team, whether it's offensively or defensively. And so it's going to be interesting. We're going to see a and Commerce get the ball first because they kicked off there to open the game. Yeah, you talked about it uh, in the last break, Greg, the, the adjustments. What adjustments has this coaching staff made? you got a pretty, pretty young team, especially on offense here for the Lions. How are they going to react? Are they going to be able to string some first downs together, maybe get in scoring position, hopefully get a score on the board in a close game? Those first five minutes really – typically dictate who's going to win the game a lot of times in my experience, no matter what level you're at. But uh, for tonight, it's, it's pretty big spread. It's 28-point uh, deficit here for the Lions. If they're going to keep this uh, opening uh, home opener winning streak together, they're going to have to bring a lot back. But um, so it'll be interesting to see how they react. You know, again, you're gonna what you want to see is, is UC Davis have any letdown. Absolutely, and, and for the Lions, you want to build on this. You want to see something in the second half, like you were saying, that is going to build toward next week. You may not overcome a 28-point deficit, but can you build some offensive momentum and get some plays and get some stuff going on that you can build on going into next week? And stranger things have happened. You could overcome a 28-point deficit. Absolutely. You just need a few things to do your job, execute, and have a few things break well, your way. Well, UC Davis scored 31 points in the first half, so 31 points and a half is obviously not out of the question. Offense is going to have to get something going, though. Right. 328 total yards of offense so far for the Aggies. They will kick off to start this third quarter. Glad to have you along. Moon is uh, rising above the field house across the parking lot. Lions are going to kneel it in the end zone. Christoph King to do that, and we'll see that offense for the Lions. Got on the board the last play of the half with a field goal. Yeah, an exciting 10 seconds to close out that first half for the Lions, and be interesting also to see here attrition through this. We saw some heat-related uh, issues for the Lions in that first half. Uh, as we get in the second, and it's nice and cool. We're here in the bird's nest, and we've got pretty, pretty nice little breeze. It's not too bad here in this Texas summer heat. But when you're down on the field, it's, it's hotter. you got the pads on. You've been playing games. It'll be um, interesting to watch to see if there's some attrition because of just the heat and the, the humidity here tonight. Here's a handoff to start the half as we have a new quarterback in for the Lions. Josh, Josh Magana. Number one in yeah. for the Lions. Yep. Yeah. He is quarterbacking. Second down and seven for the Lions. Here is a, another handoff. Big hole on the right side. Busting through his Ravian Hargrove. Hargo quick to hit the hole there. It wasn't a lot of room on that right side, but he finds the space and shoots that gap, gets into the defensive backfield quick to set up a nice third and short for the Lions here in this opening possession. Third down and about two. Lions have to get to the 35-yard line for the first. Just underway, third quarter. 
Uh. And some flinching and some moving. It was a hard count by the quarterback, try to get the defense to jump, and uh, three of the receivers <laughs> end up jumping instead. And the defense moved a little bit, like they shuffled, but it wasn't coming across. They were just doing what defensive players right. do, and I think that kind of they had a little stunt movement going there had on that the line. Yeah. Lions confused just a little bit, so there's another penalty. Lions, seven penalties. So now it's third down and seven. Here's a pitch back to Hargrove, and Hargrove is going to have the first down as a quarterback option play there. And So they make it challenging with that penalty on third down, but that option works on that right side as he got the defender frozen just long enough to get the ball out and create the room for the running back to get the sideline get the first down. Ghana getting the play from the sideline. 12 minutes and 45 seconds to play third quarter. First down and 10. Here's a pass across the middle. Nice pass as he was getting hit. Fired it to midfield. Shabari Kapira with the catch. Kapira just threw that little slant, slant on that outside. Got inside the defender and nice Pitch and catch there for the Lions first down. There is another handoff. Fighting his way forward for a couple of yards it was Hargrove. So Texas a and putting together a little bit of a drive here. Had uh, that third and long situation. Showed some fortitude to get through there. I like the play calling I'm seeing. And uh, so far, I, I like this quarterback as, as um, Magana's got in there and uh, starting to move the ball around. Six foot two, 203 pound junior, ball on the ground. He picks it up, hands it off to Hargrove. Hargrove running hard, left side. And he's going to be brought down finally across the 35 to the 33 yard line. Nice run by Hargrove. Is that ball going down? It's almost a busted play, but the quarterback, McGonagall, gets it in his hands, and then he just makes it happen on the left side to move the chains once again for the Lions. Rucker in now. At running back, he's going to get the ball and fighting his way. Ball bounces out. Oh, they called it down. Looked like the ball bounced out a little bit. It's progress stopped, it, and it looks like the, maybe an offensive lineman covered yeah, it. Because he did, yeah. Big number 75 comes up with the ball. Isaiah Carter. Yeah, Carter. If the ball came out, Carter protected the rock for the Lions. Second down and 11. Ball to 34-yard line. Here's a pass near side. Getting down to the 25-yard line on the catch is Keith Miller. Sophomore from the Colony, Texas. Came over from Colorado. Third down and three for the Lions. One of the better drives we've seen of the game so far for AM Commerce. Drive that's almost five minutes old. A couple of players, you can see on the UC Davis team, a couple of uh, second team players rotated in, giving some of the starters rest. Rucker bounces off one defender and tries to get to the edge, unable to, gets back to the line of scrimmage. And that's going to bring up fourth down and about three. And if you're AM Commerce, do you, I mean, do you just go ahead and go for it? No, you go for it here, no question. You're down by 28. You don't want to kick field goals. Your offense has been moving the ball. You've converted a couple of first downs here. Why not Why not push the ball and go for, go for it here and see what you can ha make happen? See if they put the arm or, or the ball in the arm of Magano or if they're going to hand the ball off to Rucker. Fourth down and three. Rana's going to keep it on option, pitch it back to Rucker. Rucker fighting. Oh. He dives forward. He stretched the ball. I don't and know if they're going to give it to him. see where they're going to mark it. 
That official's going to give him a looks about a yard short. Wow. They may have, he may have stepped out of bounds. They're saying all the way back at the 25. Wow. He was stretching the ball as he went down. I don't know if he was already out of bounds before he started the stretching motion, but it should be where the ball is. So there is a turnover on downs. A nice-looking drive by the offense, but unable to convert on a fourth down and short, and that gives the ball back to the Aggies here in the third quarter. There's a handoff near side, trying to fight for the end, being brought down right at the line of scrimmage, maybe a gain of one on the play, and that goes to Mateo Perez. There's just no room there as that, that left side of the defense just strung that along, which is exactly what you want to do in a play like that. Push it to the outside. Don't let the running back turn up. Get him to the sideline. Bring him down. That's exactly what they did. Hastings to throw the ball. He's got a receiver wide open. Far side breaks one tackle, and it's going to be brought down near the 40-yard line. Late Trent flag. Tompkins on the reception. Late flag came in after the tackle. I don't, I'm not sure. It looks like a face mask maybe. Maybe a late hit or something. It's on that far side, so we didn't really see what happened. We'll see what the official word is. Personal foul. It is a face mask. Good call there, Adam. And what you're saying, I mean, this commerce defense, really solid last year. But what we talked about before the game, Greg, was there's there's four sophomores and three, two of them are defensive backs and one, one at the roving, roving position. And you're seeing some of that as the receiver was just there was nobody on him. It, it was a blown coverage that made it that made that wide open pass possible. And I wonder how much, maybe not right now because you did come out at halftime, but in the first half, how much um, we're seeing some fatigue because the offense hasn't been on the field as much and the defense has had to play so many downs. Nice tackle there by number 50. Levi Drake Rodriguez in to make a stop for no gain. Second down and 10 for the Aggies. There's a cut back <laughs> to the line of scrimmage again. That's Rodriguez again on the tackle if I'm not mistaken. Perez once again on the carry. So twice Perez gets beat. So as we're up third down and 10 for this offense, they're four of six in the first half on third down. Rolling out to his right, Hastings. He's going to throw it near his side, breaking one tackle, and getting up to the 40-yard line before being pushed out of bounds was Larrison. So, I mean, you're in that position. Your defense has played great. You probably go for it here, right, Greg? That's what I, a, you're kind of in a rough spot because you're probably too far out for a field goal. Right. But, I mean, if you punt, you're probably yeah. going to punt it into the end zone. Maybe a 57-yard field goal attempt. You might yeah. see that in the NFL, but I don't know that you're going to see it on Thursday night opener for uh, this college game. Hastings rolling out to his left, looking. He's got a receiver. He's going to fire it down, and it is caught at the 28-yard line. The Perez? No, it was uh, number 18, Tompkins. Tompkins, okay. On Plus, the reception. Was one number off. But he moved the chains on that big fourth down conversion for the Aggies. Hastings up to 191 passing yards there's a handoff and there's Perez to yeah. spin his way down to the 21 yard line a pretty good run going there until Epps came up and just turned him around with a solid hit to bring him down but not before he gained seven yards second down and three fast moving quarter six minutes left to play in the third quarter 31 to 3. Aggies on top. Looking to get back into the red zone. Tompkins gets him in the red zone and then some as he gets all the way down to the nine yard line on a little shovel pass from Hastings. So, what I would expect here is Larrison to come in. I'd expect to see possibly a wildcat formation with Larrison running the ball 
two or three, two or three plays in a row unless he gets in quicker. Larison is in the backfield. And what we've seen in the first half is this pistol formation and then Hastings sprinting out to the slot receiver position. And he's going to take the snap. He's going to hand it off. Tackled at the eight-yard line is C.J. Hutton. Yeah, that time Larison was the lead blocker. He never actually blocked anybody because the – the line opened up the hole enough, but a nice nice closure by that line defense to keep that to a minimal gain. You see Davis looking to add to their 28 point lead. Second down and goal. Hastings back to pass, gonna throw a nice over the Shoulder catch, but a nice open field tackle, and it's going to be a loss of a yard. I mean, there's so much on that play that was good. I mean, that was a nice pass with him run, running away. To catch that ball over his outside shoulder, he had to kind of turn to catch it. It was a really good catch, but the defense with great pursuit brings him down for no gain. So a lot of good things happening on both sides of the ball. Ends up third and short from the nine, or third and goal from the nine again. Four minutes to play in the third quarter. Hastings, I'm sorry, that's Larison on that Wildcats. It's going to take it down to the seven. So that's going to bring up fourth down and goal. So good stop there by the Lions defense. Daryl Ware comes in and just, I it, I think Larison was cutting, so he was a little off balancing, but it looked like Ware almost got a hit stick hit on him there on the interiors. He just took him off his feet and drove him backwards to uh, seal that one at fourth down and uh, bring the punt team on for the Aggies. Hunter Ridley on to attempt the field goal. Be a 24-yard attempt. Kick is up, and it is good. Extending the lead to 31. As they now lead 34 to 3 with 314 to play here in the third quarter. Aggies kicking off when we come back. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on ESPN Plus. Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to expect. Expertise. Whether it's life-saving brain surgery, your 3D mammogram that catches breast cancer sooner or orthopedic specialists helping you feel stronger than ever. With hundreds of doors across Houston, you can get expert care everywhere. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. On season six of Fansville, it's the last year of college football as we know it. What's going on? The road to the playoff is expanding. To 12 lanes. Rivalries are crumbling. Why are you leaving? TV revenue, we wouldn't understand. So we're just not rivals anymore? Tensions are rising. Where's the flag? These refs should be criminally investigated. Do something! Because this season, things are heating up. What's happening, Sheriff? It's a transfer portal. It's out of control. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Pano AI chooses T-Mobile for business for 5G solutions. Because T-Mobile helps Pano AI innovate so they can stop the spread of wildfires. Now's the time to see what America's largest 5G network can do for your business. How do plastic bottles turn into this? WM and Reprieve have given new life to over 20 billion plastic bottles. And we're just getting started. See how recycling is one of the many ways WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at WM.com slash stories. Become an auntie. Book a flight. Stay four nights. Meet the baby. Make the baby cry. Give the baby back. Fly home. Silver tier in a single trip. Join one key and move up tiers fast. Talk about somebody getting a lot of work in today. Hunter Ridley, the kicker for 
UC Davis getting a lot of work in, and so now they're going to put a new kicker into uh, maybe do a little bit of uh, kicking here, and that's Angelo Gennetti. Kicks it's going to be fair caught at the goal line. Lions going to have the ball when we come back. 3-14 to play in the third quarter. You hear that? This cheesesteak is so freshly grilled, you can still hear it sizzling. Listen. It's sizzling. The chopping. The spatula. I can hear it, too. Me, too. Actually, it's the... Hello? Cheesesteak? Grill. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings are perfectly sweet and wonderfully spicy. Just like my Nana. These are delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I know you didn't make them. <laughs> we don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. 180! 180! Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Hold on. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that suck you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get set? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Eat pretzels. Eat more pretzels. <laughs> Watch movies. Watch more movies. Get airline miles. Get one key cash. Book in app to earn one key cash on top of your airline miles. Lions move the ball on their first possession here in the third quarter. See what they can do here. And we've got a penalty marker down. Yeah, they started a little too soon on that one, Greg. Trying to get a trying to get a run and start on the defense, it looked like. I was I was more <laughs> concerned because quarterback. Ghana, he uh, went down to take the snap and almost looked like his knee hit the ground. Yeah. And uh, I, th I think he's got a hard count, and it's a quarterback change. They, you know, Paris was out there the whole first half, and now they got a change. And I think it's throwing the offense off just a little bit. It's cadence. Well, that's first down and 15. Here's a handoff the backfield and running hard as he has all night. Is Hargrove. Yeah, that's in what you saw, that drive, that last drive stalled out, stalled out. Hargrove, after his last run, they got the first down, took himself out of the game, and he didn't come back in for the rest of that sequence. The drive stalled. He is their bright spot of their offense tonight. Under three minutes to play, third quarter. It's 34-3 to three in favor of UC Davis. I'd like to see him get him in space, maybe a little screen or a naked screen to Hargrove out in the flat and see if he can make something happen because he shows some, some good evasion and speed. There is a handoff to Hargrove, cuts it back up, and that defense is just so quick at times closing on that in that hole. Uh, Hargrove, I think if he cuts inside, if he cuts inside hard, he gets around the defender and gets more yards. He kind of cut tentatively, and he ends up running right into the defender who – can't see his number because his hair is covering his jersey as he goes off the sideline. But that's a big guy. Third down and seven for the Lions. One of eight on third downs here in the game. Ghana rolling and throwing it and incomplete over the head of the intended receiver. 
I think that's a Dinkelman. Mis miscommunication. I think he thought Dinkelman was going to cut up on the hash. Dinkelman kept going across, and the ball just kind of sailed at that point, it, unless it just came out of his hand wrong, kind of what that play looked like there. Mitchell McGarry on to punt. One thing we haven't seen from UC Davis is we haven't seen them attack the punter. We didn't see it there Ooh. either as a good uh, good kick, but we haven't seen them really come after the punter at all in this game. It's going to be first down and 10 for UC Davis looking to build on a 31-point lead. We'll be right back from Commerce here on ESPN+. Plus. This cheesesteak is so freshly grilled, you can still hear it sizzling. Listen. The sizzling. The chopping. The spatula. I can hear it, too. Me, too. Actually, it's the... Oh. Cheesesteak? Grill. Grill, great and funny. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub... How do we speed recovery for our patients? At Houston Methodist, we're improving surgical accuracy by mapping each patient's unique brain anatomy. We're also using advanced visualization technology for heart patients, allowing us to see better and heal you faster. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Royal crispy wraps, eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only two ninety nine. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. And BK, have it your way. On season six of Fansville by Dr Pepper, things are heating up. Mom, Dad, I have a girlfriend and she likes college football. The stars have arrived. I've made my choice. This season, I will be drinking Dr Pepper strawberries and cream. And everyone wants a taste of fame. Welcome back to Chuck's Take, because every fan needs a podcast. To get a thick color, I use two coats of maroon. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. I love your nails. Thank you. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to get more in before the sun goes down. Make this the summer. You drive America's best light-duty pickup. Minute 39 to play here in the third quarter. It is 34-3. Opening weekend here in college football. Lions, they've got a kind of a crazy schedule. They don't come back home until October as they have three straight away games at Sacramento State, at Old Dominion, and at Stephen F. Austin. They're not back here until October 7th when they host McNeese on a Saturday. Meanwhile, the Aggies, they're going to be at Oregon State, and then they'll be at home for Southern Utah and Eastern Washington. Seems a little unusual. They only have four home games that, like uh, the Lions have this year, but, uh, yeah, they go on the road and <laughs> avoid – playing anymore in the summer the Texas heat as they avoid all of September uh, yes. on the road. Yep, exactly. Yeah. And we've – I guess Stephen F. Austin technically is in Texas on September 30th. Yeah. Hopefully it's cooled down a little bit by then though, right? Right. It's going to be first down and 10, ball at the 41-yard line. There's a handoff around the left side, getting all the way to the midfield on the play. C.J. Hutton gets that inside handoff coming across, sweeping to the left. 
behind the blocker, all kinds of room. Second short. See Davis in hurry up mode. Hastings throwing it out. He's got a receiver, Hutton once again, and he's going to get out across the 40 for a first down. Down to the 39, or maybe right at the 40. Far, receiver, far judge had him at the 39, the near one, 40, and they settle on the 40. First down and 10. Kind of feels like this is a, a, a drill where the, the UC Davis coaching staff wants to punch it in one more time. If they're able to do that, I wouldn't be surprised to see the, a new quarterback the next time we see their offense out here. Hastings looking to throw, and he's going to throw it down the field, and it's a little bit short. Hastings threw that one off his back foot and just didn't get enough on it. He was kind of scrambling to his left just a little bit as that pressure was pushing from his left side. He's scrambling to the right as the pressure was, pressure was coming from his left side. And he just had an off-bounce throw there. Strong arm, just not able to get the ball up high enough for the receiver to make a play. Yeah, Josh Gale, the intended receiver, had some room to catch it but unable to. Here's a throw to Hutton near the 30-yard line. He's going to be brought down the 33. They're going to mark him. And it almost does look like they are specifically working on something here because they're passing the ball around the field, and it looks like they are specifically. They're in a hurry-up mode up by 31 points. Uh. Here is a quick pass near side and knocked out of bounds. And coming all the way to the bench on this near side was Perez. Yeah, there's at least one more box this coaching staff wants to check from their offense in this game. And we're seeing it tonight with this quick, quick, quick up, nothing but pass. And you're up by 30, 31 points. There's no other reason to do this than working on this game type situation going forward. Absolutely. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter. 34 to 3. UC Davis all over this one. Got 15 minutes to play. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back from Commerce. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, mango is a mood. One taste of our Mango Berry Cosmo or Mango Monsoon smoothies and vacay mode is on. Ooh, and our Mango Bacon Brie Flatbread is a total vibe. Get your Mango Mojo on at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's Tropic time. When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to get more in, before the sun goes down. Make this the summer. You drive America's best light duty pickup. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. And BK, have it your way. Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to expect. Expertise. Whether it's life-saving brain surgery, your 3D mammogram that catches breast cancer sooner, or orthopedic specialists helping you feel stronger than ever. With hundreds of doors across Houston, you can get expert care everywhere. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Eat pretzels. Eat more pretzels. <laughs> Watch movies. Watch more movies. Get airline miles. Get one key cash. Book in app to earn one key cash on top of your airline miles. I used to watch the Heisman House every year on TV. And I'd always wonder, is it real? It's very real. Take a little bit more up the top. Now that I've been here a while, it's a lot like campus. We have roommates. Hey, Caleb, just try and keep it down. It's nap time. Of course, there's a gym. Ten. All right, people, here we go. Looking good, RG3. No, you're looking good, RG3. Yeah, so it's a lot we need like. Room, rookie. We're doing a ticky top. Bound, bound. Just like bound. campus. Wait, wait. How do plastic bottles turn into this? WM and Reprieve have given new life to over 20 billion plastic bottles. And we're just getting started. See how recycling is one of the many ways WM is always working for a sustainable tomorrow at WM.com slash stories. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm kind of in between opportunities at the moment. Question, how do you instantly earn approval? ESPN Fantasy Football. But I am the commissioner of my fantasy football league. Impressive. Thank you. The dog's pursuit of history begins on ESPN Plus. UT Martin, Georgia, Saturday. Hastings still in at quarterback for UC Davis. Start of the fourth quarter, and he goes out far side, and they're doing the Wildcat, and this time they're going to throw the ball, and a nice throw <laughs> comes from Larrison. Kid can do it all. He rolls to his right and fires a bullet in there for a first down, a conversion, uh, and moves the chains for the Aggies. Josh Gale tied in again on the reception. And here yeah. again, Hastings once again coming near side. We all knew it would be a run when Hastings went in motion to the left side. Uh, but Larrison I'm sorry, pulled, pulled everybody. Hastings is back under center. I'm sorry, that was uh, Hutton that I was looking at. Hastings <laughs> going to keep it himself on a quarterback run up the middle. They're kind of showing a little bit of everything. And this is probably something they're wanting to work on. Right. We talked about they haven't, you know, that – specific situations, specific things. Hey, let's work on this play. You know, we may need we may need Larrison to throw the ball later on in conference play. Let's right. let's work on a play where we throw we well, get him some time. Yeah, you said it. They've got two other teams top twenty five in their conference. So competition's gonna get stiff when they get into conference play. There's a handoff to Perez nice. and a nice tackle in the backfield. By the Lions. Devontrick Dotry comes up number 14. Just makes a great play on defense for the Lions. Also, Jaden Rios in there on the tackle. Third down and seven. Inside the red zone. 421 total yards of offense for UC Davis. Hastings looking to throw. He's got wide open down the middle. Gale with the reception and that tight end pass that we talked about earlier at the same they had success in the second quarter earlier and here in the fourth quarter they you see it again. I think he was lined up just off in the almost the slot position there went down the field like you said just down the seam wide open beautiful pass uh, there for that touchdown to extend this lead to to uh, give him 40 points so far extend it to 37 points at this point pending this uh, point after try. Extra point attempt on the way. Ridley's kick is up, and it is good. 13-18 to play in the ball game. It is now 41-3, as you see. Let me show you a replay as you show see Ridley. I'm sorry, as you see Gale with that nice, Catch at the end zone, falling backwards, and gets the score. 41-3. to We'll be right back from Commerce. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Book a work trip, earn one key cash, shake some hands. Do not forget to laugh. Book a getaway from work trip, use one key cash, order some sides, do not disturb. Join one key to earn and use rewards across Expedia, Hotels.com, and Verbo. BK Royal Crispy Wraps. Eat it with the meal or have it as a snack. Only $2.99. It's a hunger hack and it fits in one hand. And BK, have it your way. What Eddie? What Eddie? Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Hold on. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that sack you with a three-year device contract. 
Even I can get set. Not a T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the same. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. On season six of Fansville, it's the last year of college football as we know it. What's going on? The road to the playoff is expanding. To 12 lanes. Rivalries are crumbling. Why are you leaving? TV revenue. We wouldn't understand. So we're just not rivals anymore? Tensions are rising. Where's the flag? These refs should be criminally investigated. Do something! Because this season, things are heating up. What's happening, Sheriff? It's a transfer portal. It's out of control. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. After that 15-yard touchdown catch, it is 41-3 in favor of the Aggies. Kicking off to the Lions. Kick taken in the end zone. It's going to be fair caught. Lions will start at their own 25. And so far, we talked about the halftime adjustments, Adam. We talked about, um, you know, wanting to see something, some momentum. And I'll tell you, the offense has done some things here in the second half. We've seen them move the ball. I'm not sure if it's, uh, you know, defense le letting up a little bit. I'm not sure. What, but, but there's some stuff to build on. They just haven't been able to finish the drives. Right, right. There have been some substitu substitutions, excuse me, on defense that have – you know, rotate it out as they try to keep the players flesh. But Magana coming in at quarterback has changed it up a little bit. It's I think it's challenged his, his offense as well because I don't think they're used to the cadence. Hargrove having a good night, but we saw him on the bike. I think he's dealing with cramps or something like that. He's not in the game right now, and he's their best offensive weapon so far tonight. So you, you would, you'd you'd want to see that. I'd like to see them get to the ball, the ball in the air to him in space. He only had one reception for nine yards. But I'd like to see that. Unfortunately, he's not in the game just at the moment. Rucker in the backfield. Magana's going to get him the ball on a screen pass, and he's going to get out to the 30, maybe the 31-yard line. So they, they did that, but they did it with Rucker, and Rucker makes some, makes some um, yards with it, makes some hay and gets some yardage there for the Lions, setting up a second and about five, four. You can get a play where you get six yards every down. That's going to get you first down. That's what's known as a win. It is. <laughs> you can, if you can figure out how to do that on every play, get at least six yards, you're probably going to win. Second down and four. Handoff, Rucker spins around, breaks through a tackle, gets across the 40. Nice running there. Got a little more than six, Rucker did, up the middle. And then after contact, he's able to fight through a couple of arm tackles, spins around, and uh, gets that first down for the Lions. Lamont Schamb Schomberger bringing him down for the Aggies. We talked about it in the first half. We really haven't given I, – I don't know if we've given the defense of the Aggies as much credit as they deserve. They've been really good in this game. Right, and that's something that's a, that's a little different. Last year they gave up a lot of points to opponents, and that's the first game, and, and we'll see what happens through the rest of the season. But definitely being very dominant here, having just absolutely manhandled the line of scrimmage in the first half, we've seen some some movement by the the Texas A&M offense here in the second. But you're right, this, uh, this Aggie defense is doing a phenomenal job on the field tonight. Second down and 10, the pass over the head of Capari on the near side. Here's a pass to Rucker. He's going to get near midfield before he's shoved out of bounds. He's going to be about two yards short at the 49. That was a nice little outlet and a good gain by Rucker, but he had Epps coming down the seam. He was cutting, breaking across towards the hash, wide open. If he hits him in stride, it's probably six points. Third down and two, oh, no. ball on the ground, and <laughs> Ghana just has to go down and grab it for a loss of a couple yards. I think that's a little miscommunication with the center there. Is the, um, he wasn't even looking for the ball. It just hit him in the in the hand and the, the leg there with the snap. Fourth down and five. 
See what they uh, play the dial up here. Had some success on that little throw out to Rucker running around the edge. See if they do something similar there. Rucker now switches to the left side. Four seconds on the play clock. Just gets it off in time. Gonna directing traffic under pressure. He's going to throw it. He's got a receiver near midfield, but he is short of the line to gain. Elder catches that at the 49, and it's going to be a turnover on downs. And, and Elder did exactly what you do as a receiver. When you see your quarterback in trouble, you run back towards him, which he did. Unfortunately, he ran inside the uh, the yard to gain line. He makes the catch running out of bounds and unable to move chain. So he did everything right, but he didn't get have enough position to get that first down for the Lion offense. Hastings back out there. Quarterback. For the Aggies, ball just inside midfield on Lion side of the ball. Here's a handoff, big hole on the right side. I mean, on the left side. Getting all the way across the 40, down to the 36-yard line was Perez. Greg, I'm kind of surprised that you keep Hastings out there at this point. I mean, it's fourth quarter. You're up by 38 points. I just don't know that I would want to risk injury at this point. I might want to give my second-string guy – you know, some snaps, just to uh, get them some game speed experience as well. I I agree 100%, but I don't know what's going on on the sideline over there either with the second string quarterback. So the ball goes out of bounds over the head of intended receiver. But, no, I agree. I was thinking the same thing. I was expecting – I had the binoculars up expecting to, to see a new quarterback, and I was trying to get numbers and see who was going to be coming in, but – Hastings it is. Second down and 10. Right at 10 minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Big hole on the left side. Perez is going to walk into the end zone. I don't know if he was touched. <laughs> he wasn't. But what a Perez, play. There was some really good blocking by the receivers and the, the, the left tackle here, about the 30 that opened up that lane. But he was already to the 30 before there was even anyone there. And once he came through that melee of people uh, untouched, untouched to the end zone for another six on the board for the Aggies. Perez with a huge run. We're going to have an extra point attempt once again. Hunter Ridley has been perfect so far. Also one for one on field goals and he knocks that one through and it is now 48 to 3 with 10.03 to play in the ball game I'm going to take another commercial break we'll be right back more the fourth quarter from Commerce here on ESPN Plus with the Home Depot app the tools to keep the job moving are always in reach need specialized equipment tool truck and equipment rentals are just a tap away working a tight schedule order with our app and have it delivered to the job site for free managing expenses use our app to easily track and earn your pro extra benefits for doing that doesn't stop download the home depot app it's made for doing book a work trip earn one key cash shake some hands do not forget to laugh Book a getaway from work trip. Use one key cash. Order some sides. Do not disturb. Join one key to earn and use rewards across Expedia, Hotels.com, and Verbo. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, mango is a mood. One taste of our mango berry Cosmo or mango monsoon smoothies in vacay mode is on. Ooh, and our mango bacon brie flatbread is a total vibe. Get your mango mojo on at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's tropic time. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? What's your name? What's your name? Quarter pounder with cheese. Royal with cheese. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. How many filet of fishes did you eat? That's over several months, Ryan. In Puerto Rico, a McFlurry, it's called a Senor Flurry. Two golden menus. McDonald's. 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 They're McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Are you going to order something? Yeah, with Metro, there's no contracts, no price hikes, no surprises. There's not a yada yada. Wait, Metro has not of the contract yada yada? 
with this surprise, yada yada. Surprise hike, yada yada. Yada 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 yada. Project yada yada. And this yada yada. I don't know, kid. That one makes sense. Oh. Nada yada yada means wireless without the gadget. No contracts, no price hikes, no surprises. Only at Metro. I misspoke earlier and I said one field goal, but you corrected me during the break. He's got two field goals. Forgot about the one in the first drive. Hunter Ridley, that is. 48 to 3. Not much going wrong for UC Davis. Kickoff taken at the one yard line. Lions going to bring it out. Christoph King going to bring it all the way past the 25 to the 26 yard line. So they still have zero penalties, by the way. Right. And that's, like you said, not, a, not much going wrong. But as a coaching staff, you can always find things to work on. And what you're going to focus on is the turnovers. They had three turnovers in this game, two picks and the fumble, strip fumble that they have. And that's something you just don't want to see happen. You can't, in a lot of games, if you lose the turnover battle, you, you lose the game because that makes such a big difference. So they had the commerce with the one tur turnover, UC Davis with three. Uh, so that's the one area that if I'm the coaching staff going into next week, I'm going to have a real focus on for the Aggies. And now you want to get – you're at that point in the game where you kind of now want to, okay – we're down by 45. Let's get out of here without any injuries. Well, it looks like Parrish is back in at quarterback. Yep, he is. And another penalty false start against the Lions. That is their 12th penalty, 102 yards. Well, you know, the quarterbacks have different cadences, get different inflections, and, and when you change around like that, especially early in the season, the young offense, it can be confusing. There's a handoff up the middle and getting a couple of yards on the carry. That is going to be Reggie Branch. Second down and 12. So Lions will lose their first. Season opener since 2012. Here's Branch with a big carry. It's all the way out to the 35-yard line. It's going to bring up a third down and short. Really nice running by Branch. Good blocking there up front for that offensive line. They created some room for him, and he just slanted across from right to left. Gained uh, about 10 yards or so, 10, 11 yards, set up a third and very makeable one. There's a deep pass down the far side. Caught. The back Somehow shoulder. caught and jumping over the receiver and walking into the end zone on the play. What a great catch that was by Keith Miller. 65 yards for Miller as he, it was a back shoulder throw. So he comes back to it. And uh, the defender just kind of, kind of fell down. He tries to grab him from the ground, but able to stay up and just run all by himself down the sideline for the first touchdown for the Lions on the night. And I'll tell you what, when Parrish threw that ball, my first thought was, what, what are you doing? Because he kind of threw it low, and the receiver saw it. The defender did not. And I thought maybe they could get some kind of defensive um, pass interference there for a second, but what a great catch. Yeah, that was a great play by Paul to come back for that. Then to stay on his feet. Uh, during a little bit of scrum there with the defender as he was trying to grab him or push him out. Great, great, great run and great fight by Paul. Emmanuel Audubon, the senior, with the extra point, making it 48-10. to 10. A little bit of life to build on for this offense. We'll be right back. More from Commerce. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. 180, 180. 
Hello, Patrick Mahomes. All right. Wait, who do you even play for? T-Mobile. And I'm here to protect you from wireless companies that blitz you with phone deals that suck you with a three-year device contract. Even I can get sacked? Not at T-Mobile. They have plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. Thanks, man. Now can I do the thing? Do the thing. Excellent. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Let's have a huddle. You don't know what huddle is, do you? No. Hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? What do you want to do? Quarter pounder with cheese. Royal with cheese. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. How many filet of fishes did you eat? That's over several months, Ryan. In Puerto Rico, a McFlurry, it's called a Senor Flurry. Two golden menus. McDonald's. 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 They're McDonald's. I'm McDonald's. Are you going to order something? When you drive a Ram, summer is more than a season. It's an opportunity to load up on more toys, to stop looking for fun, and be the one who brings it, and to make every day even more inviting than the last. Make this the summer you drive America's best light duty pickup. During the Ram Labor Day sales event, get 4,000 retail consumer cash allowance on most 2023 Ram 1500 trucks. Forty-eight to ten. After that, sixty-five yard touchdown play for the Lions. We talked about needing something to kind of build off of, and you know that's a that's a play that you could definitely build off of. Aiden Martin to kick off for AM Commerce for only the second time in the game. Take in. At the 10-yard line, big hole on the right side. Getting all the way out near the 40-yard line. Nice run, nice blocking. Punting coverage for the Lions has been pretty solid tonight, but uh, definitely a nice return by UC Davis on that kickoff. Set him up in great field position here. Christian Calhoun on the return. So we'll see... We'll see what they uh, – if you see Davis just kind of tries running out the clock or if they're going to – because we do have a new quarterback in. Grant Harper. And he hands the ball on an end around. Lance Babb, the second on the carry, gains about seven. Grant Harper, as you said, in at quarterback. Nice running by Babb. That end around's been open for him pretty much all night as they're able to use that speed to get the corner, get nice seal blocking by the, the line and the receivers over there and definitely chewing up a lot of yards almost every time they run that play. Harper's six foot two, 199 pound sophomore. Gonna hand the ball on another <laughs> Trying to get around the near side and cutting it back, getting across midfield. Still on his feet, pushing a, his way is Chuladobe. Chul First down and 10, ball at the 44-yard line. Jeremiah Chukwadobe. Been wanting to say that name all night, Greg, since we saw it. <laughs> made that play. He came to the left, just ran into a bottle jam and turned it and around to the right and uh, was able to use his uh, creative running to get that first down. Five foot nine senior. Here's a, another end around. This time, Bab is tripped up. Otherwise, he probably gains a little bit more, but falls down right at the line of scrimmage. So he's second down and 10 for the Aggies, under seven to play in the fourth quarter. Glad to have you along. Greg Higgins, Adam Routon here in Commerce, Texas. Full moon rising above. Late substitution on the line there for the Aggies. Six seconds on the clock. Harper hands the ball off. Nice spinning, moving, 
Still on his feet, and there's oh. going to be a face mask. Well, I don't know. I don't see look, the flag. I don't see a flag, but it was it sure looked, looked like, like a face mask. Chukwudobe with a nice hard run all the way up to the 24-yard line. I saw it all the way up here. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, do. It was not uh, not seen. There's another handoff. Chukwudobe once again falls forward to about the 20-yard line, maybe the 20 and a half, they'll see. Yeah, uh, Chukwudobe running with bad intentions. He just is, is fighting for every yard and just 100% energy. Each time he's touched the ball these last three or four, um, three of the last four possessions that they've had. Three carries, 34 yards for Chukwudobe. You like saying the name, don't you? I do. It's really a cool name. Here's a pass uh, down the <laughs> far side. And no penalty marker. I like that. They let him play it out, uh, both uh, the receiver and the defender on the play, being defended by for a and Commerce by uh, Rios. Yeah. And him and uh, Bab both just kind of fighting each other for position. They were hand fighting down the sideline, and you're right. It could have been. I mean, you could have thrown a flag on either one, really, yep. but he says a nice no call by the referee in that situation. And neither player was really calling for it, and that's the kind of – you just want to fight that out there. Right. Nobody was playing the ball. Yeah. Harper directing traffic. Third down and six. Rolling, looking, throwing it down to the end zone, and he expected – one of his receivers to be there, and he threw it right to an AM Commerce player. Harper took a hit on the backside as the blitz was closing. He gets the ball out, uh, but the, the receiver broke right, and he threw to the left. The receiver broke outside. He, he threw to the inside where the defender just was waiting for the ball to hit him in the hands and makes the, the third interception for the Commerce defense. Or yep, third interception. Tonight. King Ambers with that interception. So 5.15 to play. The Lions will take over at their own 20-yard line. And that's the second turnover they forced in when with uh, UC Davis offense in scoring position. Absolutely. Yeah, the second drive for UC Davis ended in that interception. So Lions back out there. Here's a handoff to 23. Much, hadn't been much room up the interior all night, even if they are, even if you see Davis is rotating players out. Reggie Branch with that carry. Peter Parrish back in. We're still in quarterback after coming in the last drive. Tuba Mai, number 92 for UC Davis in on the stop there. He's nose tackle, just filling a lot of space there in that defensive line. Second down and seven. Parrish. Hands the ball off to Branch. Branch around the left side. Going to be tackled for a gain of three or four. Branch running hard on that left side. Good hit there. I didn't see the defender that got him. but uh, Jaden Stanley. Down. Stanley uh, prevented the first down from being gained and maybe more with that tackle. Third down and three for the Lions. Try another back shoulder pass here. I I would. That or they haven't run branch out like they were doing earlier, that little running back uh, screen play. They're going to hand the ball off to branch. He's going to push his way up, and he's going to fight his way forward Got and it. have enough for the first down by about a half a yard. That's, that's one that that offensive line won the battle of the line of scrimmage, reestablished it in the defensive backfield and gave him gave Branch room to run and he gets the first down for the Lions. First down and 10, 335 to play in the fourth quarter. This Branch around the left side and this time he's going to bounce around. I thought they had him in the backfield and somehow he squeaks through and gets all the way up to the 37 yard line. Branch showing some life here on offense for Texas A&M as he is Moving the ball, I was just about to say, I don't understand why they don't maybe throw the ball again down that sideline route, but why should they if they're getting chunks of yardage here in the running game? Second down and four. Parrish 
with Branch. Now rolling out the throw, and he's going to throw it to Branch, that little screen pass, and Branch gets all the way up near midfield before he's knocked out of bounds. It's a nice play. Defender coming up left side, almost broke that up, but uh, Parrish able to get the ball out to Branch and get the chains moved. Jaden uh, Stanley pushing him out of bounds for the Aggies. First down and 10, ball right at near midfield, and the Lions jumped again. Right, the right tackle saw the defense shift on that front line, and uh, Peyton Ellis went. 316 pound sophomore from Bullard, Texas. He uh, jumped a little bit. He's a little anxious to hit somebody right there. Clock winds towards two minutes. First down and 15 for the Lions. There's a handoff to Branch. Branch just going to push his way up the middle and gain a couple. Give him three, it looks like. Under two minutes here. Going to set up a second long. Parrish in the gun, looking, rolling. And he is going to be hit as he crosses midfield, dropped at the 49-yard line. And it's going to bring up third down, about eight. Number 64, Benjamin Newman playing as a reserve. Poor UC Davis got a solid hit on the quarterback. It's what you want as a defensive lineman. You want a chance to hit the quarterback, and he got his chance right there. Parrish wide open on that left side. He's going to run, have lots of room, and finally slide down near the 33, 34 yard line. 49 seconds left. I mean, do you, do you use your timeouts here and try to score now that you're down in that, that field position? I don't know. I'm I i I'm kind of torn on that. I have my thoughts. I'm not sure what Nozel's thinking. Here is Parrish rolling to his right, directing traffic. He's going to throw it up out of bounds with 32 seconds to play. He was directing Epps to break to the back of the end zone, but Epps double covered on the sideline there. There, there wasn't much opportunity, so he wisely threw that ball away to live to play another down. Second down and 10, 48 to 10. It's what the score is now. We'll see if that's what it remains or if Lions try to punch it in here with the ball on the 34-yard line. Parrish. Back to pass. Under pressure, he's going to throw it to Branch, and Branch is going to be tripped up but break a couple of tackles and stay on his feet and finally get out of bounds near the 20. Five yard line. Where has he been the whole game? Branch running with all kinds of heart, makes that catch, should have been tackled two or three different times on that play. Fights forward to the first down and gets out of bounds. Clock stops on the first down, but it stays stopped with the, uh, the ability to get out of bounds. It's be first down and 10 from the 24 with 24 seconds to play here in the fourth quarter. Hargrove's back in for the Lions. Giving Branch a breather. Parrish and Hargrove in the backfield. Parrish back to pass. He's going to throw it, and it's intercepted as undercutting the route and getting in front of the intended receiver was Mario Miner, the junior. Gives uh, UC Davis their second interception on the night, and that's pretty much going to seal it right there. As far as scoring, I would assume. Yep, I would. I would think that uh, you'll see victory formation. The, yeah, the best formation in football is what I've heard it called. Yes, absolutely. It's the best formation if 
your yeah. team is doing it. Yeah, if it's your if, offense. <laughs> if, yeah, if it's the defense that you're on doing it, it's not the best. Yeah, it's not. If you're, you're right. having to face that. So they are going to line up in victory formation with 18 seconds. They'll take the one snap, kneel down, and that is going to do it for this game as the clock will wind down 48-10. to 10. UC Davis all over this one from the very beginning of this game. And uh, their offense picked up right where it left off last year. We talked about how high scoring that offense was. They finished with 530 yards of offense, 250 in the air, 280 rushing yards. The Lions wind up with 285, which was respectable considering what they had in the first half. Yeah, and you look how balanced it is, 143 passing, 142 rushing. Um, they came back in the second half, were able to move the ball, did some positive things, scored some points. Uh, it's what you wanted to see is some positive progress, but uh, unfortunately not enough as UC Davis just dominates tonight and gets that first win of the season. Both teams meeting out at midfield, congratulating each other as it is a 48 to 10 point win UC Davis over a and Commerce. That's going to do it for our broadcast for Adam Routon. This is Greg Higgins saying so long from Commerce. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. 180! 180! Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Who do you even play for? T-Mobile. T-Mobile has plans that make upgrades work for you. They even have a plan which makes you upgrade ready every year. That's good play, Colin. Cheers. Take charge of your upgrades with our best Go 5G plans at T-Mobile. Popeye's new sweet and spicy wings don't make sense. Marinated and tossed in a blend of chili, garlic, and ginger, as sweet as they are spicy. Nice catch, butterfingers. Just like my <laughs> Nana. We don't make sense. We make chicken. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Fly to Paris. See the tower. Smaller than you expected. Wait in line. See the Mona Lisa. Smaller than you expected. Check in. See your room. Bigger than you expected. Join one key where gold and platinum members get travel perks like room upgrades. How can we target deadly diseases with better precision? At Houston Methodist, we're developing technology that delivers life-saving immunotherapy directly inside the tumor for cancer patients. We're also pioneering an implantable device that administers precise and timely doses of medication to those with difficult to manage chronic conditions. That's the difference between practicing medicine and leading it. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, mango is a mood. One taste of our Mango Berry Cosmo or Mango Monsoon smoothies and vacay mode is on. Ooh, and our Mango Bacon Brie Flatbread is a total vibe. Get your Mango Mojo on at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's Tropic Time.